In last week's video, we hired ATVs in Cappadocia. Had a little incident. It's just gave in. Not sure where we are. Just before we had to get on a plane for 24 hours of traveling. But no travel day is without its drama. After spending an epic week in Cappadocia, we had an hour drive to the airport and then an hour and 15 minute flight to Istanbul airport, where we had an overnight layover. So they say they moved our flight, we need to contact them to confirm it. But we're in another country, we can't just phone them. Their website thing doesn't work, their app doesn't work. But we get the hotel's phone to phone them. And after 30 minutes sitting in the call center, we're like, okay, this is ridiculous. After Facebook messaging with them, we got it confirmed. Quick pause for a very important travel tip. Companies respond much better on their social media channels. Facebook message them, Instagram message them, tweet them. You'll get much better responses than on emails or trying to phone them. The flight that we booked, we can take 20 kg check in each person. But then because I changed our flight, it's 15k to check in and then we had to pay for overweight luggage. <sighs> our flight is moved earlier. So now we have a 14 hour layover in Istanbul airport and they didn't want to check our luggage in to our final destination and we can't check in so we can't get to the line. Jara got us wine. Anything that's cold. Yay. It's nice. Oh, this is so nice. Mm. Lounge is closed till the 17th of May. Which sucks. Eight hours and a half to our flight. Eight hours and a half. <laughs> this. And I see this flight, it says 7 a.m. and it says in green, check in open. And I'm like, wait, if those 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. flights are check in open, then our flight must be too. So we go, and they let us check in. They first are like, do you have a PCR test? And I'm like, no, Skopje said, or North Macedonia say you don't need it. And they're like, okay so we're like okay so now we're in the lounge and after this we can go to the sleep pod lounge and go sleep and this is just awesome we thought we we're going to sit for 14 hours eat a burger king through the night get there sunday sleep the whole day and be all disconjumbled on monday so we are so happy how are you feeling jared and okay. jared's nose keeps bleeding it's been bleeding the whole time since since when we left our hotel it started bleeding yeah, I'm gonna bed like as we were gonna check into the, or as we were gonna board the plane. So like my whole mask has like blood all over it, all the other masks. So I have to use the plane's mask. How are you feeling? Hot and tired. How and proud are you of, of seeing that green check in at the 7 a.m.? Much, much prouder now. <laughs> so before <laughs> food tasting, a quick tour of the IGA lounge. Love it how you love me electric. I could do. Love it how you love me electric. Always you. This thing is amazing, I should take it. Little poncho or a towel, not sure. Cotton buds. A closet. A whole closet for yourself. This is amazing. And then, the shower. I would like to come and shower now. Pudding. <laughs> it, it seemed like the, the, the stablest thing to pick while I was picking things. You got me a salad. Yo, Jared, that's not very nice. He got himself pudding and he got me a salad. 
I got you a sandwich. Not a salad. The salad was. He also got me a sandwich. Salad. Very, very tasty. Salad. So many salads. It's like smoked onion. It's interesting. I think it'll be nice with a chicken. Yogurt. Salad. It's like a sour yogurt with quinoa. No, it's a sour yogurt with starting, bulgur. Um, I'm what, we need this. what we need is a bit of bread. This is beef. Mm. Oh! Where is it? It's good. Mm. It's like dough, but crispy dough. With beef inside. That's super yummy. This is like you'll like it. Eat it. You'll like it. Mm, it's so good. Mm. I'm gonna try Jared's, ham Jared's ham bread because he's too scared to try it. I'm sure it's not ham. Doesn't look like ham. Mm, I don't think it's ham. I think it's like falafel or something. Where is it? I told you it's not ham. It was a breakfast or one morning. It's like peanut buttery, but a sweet piece of like thick peanut buttery crispiness. I have no idea what it is. It's not ham. It's a good but this though. is definitely not ham. The last one. Did you think it said ham? No, it's not ham. No, it said H A. Um, then the thingy was in the way. No, no, the, the thingy was in the way. It was like a Y. Then I said A M again. So. Um. We're definitely not ham. I try, you're like mm, not right now. Is it okay? Try it. What does it taste like? It tastes really good. It tastes like peanut butter sandwich. But a sweet peanut butter sandwich. Hmm, not bad. Gerald is saying you walk through and there's like a lot of half open eaten fruit that people just leave, which is quite sad. It tastes like lentil soup. Oh, he never got the bread. Mm, I'll get that now. No, but I want bread for lentil soup. He just tastes it now. Maybe you don't even like it. No, I don't think you taste it. Okay. I'll taste the lentil soup. <laughs> mm, it's nice, it's different, it's right. So I just got yogurt soup. I have no idea what it tastes like. I've seen this yogurt in soup. But I'm very curious to try it. Interesting. It's like a bit sour, but very, very creamy. A bit sour and warm. But it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. About three hours into the 14 hours tummy bit fuller, getting some coffee and got four hours of free Wi-Fi. So I think we're gonna sit here, then go sleep in the sleeping pods, hopefully it's open and then come back here for breakfast. <laughs> getting very tired now. So before all the pods were taken so I couldn't film it and I found an open one so I thought I'd show it quickly. It's awesome. I'm here she got a little iPad that you can use for your own benefit. And there's chargers, and then you can lay here and sit. Then we did some work for a couple of hours. We have to apply for visas for the country we're going to after North Macedonia, so we booked some accommodation. It looks nice. So it's like it's literally on, on the water. water. It's fun in anywhere. It looks nice. Seven grand. Cute lockers now. Store your stuffies. A museum. Istanbul Airport Museum. That is insane. We are hoping that we can get into the sweet pods and get some napsies. Yes. Hopefully. If we find it. If we find it. And if it's open and if they have space. You can go on a 3 a.m. shopping trip. Shalom on so that we don't like 3 30. Okay. Are you ready to go now? Yes. Got a pillow, got a blanket, this is bed for three hours. <laughs> Are you excited to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Bye.
put my shoesies in here. Jared says no one's gonna steal them, so they should be safe. So this is bed for three hours. There's charging point here, and there is a made in Finland sign there, and there's space for your stuffies behind you, depending how tall a person you are, probably. And it's six six euros from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and 9 euros from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. But if you have the priority pass thing, then it's free for three hours. So that's what we're doing for three hours free. And two euros extra to get a blankie and a pillow with a pillowcase. Pull this thing down to get into your pot. Oh, it's getting an intimate. There's the candles. If you're claustrophobic, you don't have to worry because it's not completely closed. I don't know if it... Yeah, it only goes that far. And yeah, it seems spacious. I feel like I'm camping or on a sleepover. This is fun. So it's midnight now and we have to wake up 3 a.m. because we're three hours. It's not very quiet because you can hear everybody with their bags walking everywhere and talking. Um, it's a bit warm. I need some air going in here and I guess in the lounge you can have a similar vibe being on one of the lounge chairs as well. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Good night. I have done 3 a.m. We have a good three and a half hours till we board and go back to the lounge and eat. About an hour till we can board and have some breakfast stuff. Not a big variety because of lockdown, but there's a hot boiled eggs, sandwich, cheese, salami. It's like another cheese thingy and olives, of course. And um, yeah, having some breakfast before we fly. Oh, I'm tired. And what is Turkey without cats everywhere? Like a cat at the airport on the tarmac. If you like watching what it's like at the airport for 16 hours, please like this video. Here's a photo of my cat to say thank you for liking the video. And please subscribe, here's another one in advance for saying thank you for subscribing. Next week, we are in the weirdest country and city we've ever been in. Skopje, North Macedonia. If you haven't been here or you don't even know of this country, you gotta watch this. It's gonna get interesting.